On Wednesday morning, California Health Inspector and U.S. citizen said Rizwan Farouk, 28, and his Saudi wife of Tashfeen Malik, 27, dropped off their six-month-old baby with Farouk's mother, saying they were going to a doctor's appointment. By noon, according to police, the couple had donned assault clothing, armed themselves with rifles and stormed a holiday party attended by San Bernardino County employees, killing 14 people and wounding 17 others. Before sunset, after a massive manhunt and a violent shootout with police on residential street, they were both dead, leaving a grieving community with few clues to puzzle out the motive for the carnage. Those who knew Farouk among them his colleagues at the San Bernardino County Public Health Department, described him as a devout Muslim but not someone who often talked about religion. He never struck me as a fanatic, he never struck me as suspicious, said Griselda Reisinger, a former colleague. Co-worker Patrick Bakari, who shared a cubicle with Farouk, told the Los Angeles Times he and his young family appeared to be living the American dream. Early Thursday morning, a search team comprised of police and federal agents combed the residence in Redlands, California, associated with Frook and his wife. A black sedan parked outside was also searched. The home is where officers initially saw a vehicle matching the description of the suspect's SUV in the hours before the final gun battle that killed them. A bomb squad on Wednesday swept the building with robots. Public records show it is a possible residence of a family member of Farouk. U.S. Attorney General Loretta Lynch said at a press conference this morning the Justice Department will be offering any and all assistance necessary as the investigation into the California mass shooting continues. Lynch was speaking at an event about criminal justice at the White House. She called Wednesday's deadly massacre unspeakable. Lynch says the government doesn't know a lot yet about the incident. But she says the FBI, the U.S. Marshals Service and other federal authorities have been dispatched. The Attorney General said that whatever the results of the investigation, there's no place for this type of violence in the U.S. In the hours after the shooting, more information emerged about Farouk, who was born in the U.S., and Malik, whom is he thought to have met and married in Saudi Arabia two years ago. Farouk's family was originally from South Asia while Malik was believed to be from Pakistan and had lived in Saudi Arabia before coming to the United States, said Husam Ailish, executive director of the Council on American-Islamic Relations, CARE. Farouk had an older brother, he added, who had served in the U.S. military. The gunman's father, also named said Farouk, seemed shocked when talking to the New York Daily News in the wake of the slaughter. I haven't heard anything the elder Mr. Frook said before his son's name became public. He was very religious. He would go to work, come back, go to pray, come back. He's Muslim. In an online profile reportedly created by Frook and his parents six years ago on a Muslim dating site, the health inspector described himself as six feet tall and said he didn't drink or smoke, according to ABC News. Farouk allegedly wrote that he was part of a religious, sick, but modern family of four and that he enjoyed doing target practice with younger sister and friends in their backyard. On another dating site profile that also has attributed to Farouk, he shared his thoughts on living a balanced life as a Muslim American, I try to live as a good Muslim. Looking for a girl who has the same outlook, wear hijab, but live the life to the fullest. Public records suggest possible turbulence in Farouk's younger life.